So what is animation? Animation is the process of creating the illusion of movement by showing a series of still pictures in rapid succession. Animation is an art form, no different than paintings, music, or martial arts. And like traditional art, music, and martial arts, there are different styles to animation. Now, the basic processing techniques are all the same for animation types, but in this video, we're going to break down the different types of animation as well as outlining a guide each animation can take you coming up right after this. Welcome back Roundtable, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios where we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. So the first obvious animation style we're going to go is traditional animation. Traditional or hand-drawn 2D animation is one of the older forms of animation. The animator draws every frame to create an animation sequence. This is seen most notable in the original Disney movies, Warner Brothers TV shows, and Japanese animation. The animation process of traditional animation can be extremely lengthy and costly. For most of the 20th century, animation was done by taking photographs of drawings on paper and then placing them on transparent sheets called cells. Today though, traditional animation can be done on a computer using a tablet and does not require photography of individual frames. Although drawing skills are still required to be a new animator today, most of the work is done with the use of computer software. Being skilled in a particular 2D animation program comes with its own learning curves, which only gets steeper the better the program is. Traditional animation is widely used in a number of creative industries and is still widely used despite the rise of 3D animation. Everything from a cartoon series and Japanese anime to video games and full feature films are done in 2D. The fact that 2D animation is flexible enough to be done on a wide range of platforms is what makes it such a popular form for anything from entertainment and multimedia to broadcast video. Television is where 2D animation is still used the most. The number of shows that have been made with 2D animation is near endless, with some of the more well-known being The Simpsons, SpongeBob SquarePants, Batman the Animated Series, and Avatar Less Airbender. Anime, which is a style of Japanese animation inspired by their manga comics, also make use of 2D animation with some of their biggest hits being Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and My Hero Academia. While some companies are more than willing to hire you if they see that you have a talent for 2D animation, most are looking for artists with a college degree. This is because someone who went through a two or four year program animation, computer graphics, or something related usually has knowledge of the programs they'll be expected to use. Animation college graduates also normally have a portfolio to showcase their technical and artistic skills to the places they apply to. So if you're an aspiring 2D animator, it is possible to break into any industry by learning software programs yourself and refining your skills. However, your path will likely involve some kind of college or university program if you want the best chance of getting hired at a company that does 2D animation. These can include game developers, animated film studios, television companies, and most other multimedia fields. 3D animation works in a completely different way than traditional animation. They both require an understanding of the same principles of movement and composition, but the technical skill set is very different for each task. While traditional animation requires you to be an amazing physical artist, computer animation doesn't. 3D animation is more similar to playing with puppets rather than drawing. 3D animation is the manipulation of three-dimensional objects and virtual environments with the use of a computer program. Animators first create a 3D polygon mesh with various connected vertices to give it form. The mesh is then rigged by giving it a skeletal structure that can be manipulated to make the objects appear in specific poses. After making other objects in the environment, the artist then uses the software to create scenes that are much more lifelike than 2D animation. This form, which is also called computer generated imagery or CGI, is a fairly recent technique that only came to use during the 90s. Before that, the closest thing to 3D animation was stop motion and claymation, which involved using real life objects and taking pictures to give the illusion of motion. Now, it is arguably the most popular form of animation and is used in anything from TV shows, video games, and feature films. A computer and 3D software is required to create 3D animations, which usually comes with a ton of features that let you do anything from modeling and simulation to rendering. Tools for adding lighting, visual effects, physics, and other elements are also normally included. The reason 3D animation has become popular is because it can be used to create realistic objects and scenes. 
live action films like Transformers, Avatar, and The Avengers will not be as impressive if you remove all the 3D elements, which often include entire characters and settings. 3D has also become the standard visual style for video games because it's let players do much more than a 2D game. But like other forms of animation, 3D has its own learning curve that involves gaining a firm understanding of 3D software programs. These programs also tend to be pretty expensive, which means that they can be hard to learn as a student who doesn't have a few hundred bucks to spend on one. Normal 3D programs are Autodesk Maya and 3DS Max, Blender, and Cinema 4D. Today, 3D animation is used in more industries than ever before. Industries like games, movies, TV shows, business, architecture, medicine, interior designing, and many other multimedia fields. Just like 2D animation, most places will want to see a bachelor's degree in a related field. This is because 3D animation is a very technical specialty that requires a solid understanding of different programs and how to use them effectively. Since studios that make 3D games and movies are demanding fast-paced environments, they want to hire people who have already mastered the 3D software programs they use for their projects. This is why a self-taught 3D animator isn't as likely to get hired as someone who went through an animation program at a college or university. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to get a job by teaching yourself how to animate in 3D, but the average company has much more confidence in hiring someone who can prove they spent a number of years learning how to be a 3D animator and receive instruction from trained professionals. While still considered a form of animation, motion graphics is quite different from other types of animation. Unlike the other types in our list, it is not a character or story driven. It's the art of creatively moving graphic elements or text, usually for commercial or promotional purposes. Think animated logos, explainer videos, app commercials, television promos, or even film opening titles. The skills for motion graphics don't necessarily translate to the other types of animation since they don't require knowledge of body mechanics or acting, but they do have some attributes in common such as understanding good composition and the all important camera motion. The process of creating motion graphics depends on the programs used since video editing softwares often have different UI or settings, but the idea is the same. Motion graphics usually involves animating images, text, or video clips using keyframing that are tweened to make a smooth motion between frames. The term motion graphics came along computer-based video editing as programs like Adobe After Effects and Apple Motion made editing images a lot easier and faster. Previously, before the advent of computer editing, it was a very time-consuming process, which limited it to high-budget productions only. Today, it is highly popular in commercials, news shows, sporting events, and online videos. Notable programs are Adobe After Effects and Cinema 4D. Stop motion animation can be referred to any animation that uses objects that are photographed in a sequence to create the illusion of movement. The process of stop motion animation is very long, as each object has to be carefully moved inch by inch while it's being photographed each frame to create a fluid sequence of animation. One of the most popular stop motion forms is claymation, working with clay or play-doh characters that can easily be manipulated for animation. Advanced claymation uses metal skeletons on which the clay is then molded for more sturdy rigs. Some animators are use regular puppets instead of clay ones, usually also built with some sort of skeleton rig. The faces of the characters can be replaced based on the expression or control within the rig. Another popular form of stop motion is cutout, using construction paper or cardboard characters and placing them on paper while shooting the animation from above. That's how South Park was made before the switch to computers. The cardboard is then moved a little each frame to create the illusion of movement. Some use action figures or Lego characters for animation. This genre is very popular on YouTube with many channels dedicated on creating funny skits with Lego characters. Robot Chicken is also a great example of that. They use famous action figures to make fun of pop culture. Stop motion set the standards for visual effects. However, stop motion wasn't always made for shorts and visual effects. There have been many feature length stop motion animated films, with most notably The Nightmare Before Christmas and Wallace and Gromit The Curse of the Were Rabbit. If you happen to be into 3D and want to learn more about it, check out my video on best laptops to get for 3D, or if you want to learn more in depth about specific programs, click here to check out some of the best 3D programs for beginners. Which animation style do you guys prefer? Leave a comment down below and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.